So I've been meeting a whole lot of interesting people over the last little while. It's great because I get to talk to beekeepers right across the country. Not just across the country, but across the world. And uh, share ideas and exchange uh, different ways of doing things. As you guys know, I'm a big believer in, you know, targeting uh, our hives' dietary needs. Um, I'm striving to try to um, provide a little bit of assistance to the hives as, as I feel uh, with the lack of diversity out uh, within the countryside now that their, their diets are just, I think they're being malnourished. I think that's one of the problems of uh, some of the situations within our hives right now. I think we can see it across the landscape. Everything's getting so specific and uh, things are just changing on us. And we, we just need a little bit of assistance to be able to adapt to all this change. And I feel that we need to spend a little more time on focusing on the nutrition of our hives. I think beekeepers need to spend a little more attention towards it. I've been talking to a beekeeper in uh, New Brunswick and he is he is either brilliant or he is absolutely crazy. Um, quite the interesting fellow. I really enjoy talking to this guy. And he has developed, he's been sending me all these obscure uh, studies and such on honeybee nutrition and, and uh, really focusing on, you know, some of those minute details. And he's developed a uh, recipe that he wants me to try out. And it's absolutely crazy, but so intriguing. So what we've done is we put together this little bit of a uh, trial, uh, formal. Um, he's uh, he's going to oversee everything, and I'm going to I'm going to be the guy in the field uh, applying it. So we're going to conduct the trial over 120 hives. Uh, we're going to divide it into three groups of 40, representing a treatment control and a negative control. So we will be feeding this this recipe that he's developed. And I'm going to mix that up this morning. And we're going to track and we're, I'm going to uh, measure uh, these colonies as they develop through the spring, through the summer, through the fall, through the winter, into the next spring, uh, just to see if there's any response to this uh, very interesting product he's going to get me to develop here. So this is right up my alley. I just love this. Um, just focusing on the nutritional needs of these bees. And what he's done is he's he's gone through study after study all across the world. It's just uh, so interesting talking to this guy as he targets specifics all the way through the bees diet. I'm going to, so I'm going to be doing this, I won't be talking a lot about it because, well, you know, I'm going to conduct this and we're going to see how it makes out.
where Carrie has been doing all the baking. We have a bunch of patties cut up, wrapped up in a pound and a half packages. And these are the treatment patties. So this, this, um, this is a brewer's yeast, uh, soy flour mix. It's very basic so we can uh, test out the supplement product. So this supplement has a supplement in it. Let's see how the bees like it. We'll be running that in 40 colonies. And then this is the brewer's yeast soy flour, you know, mixed up with uh, sucrose, uh, without the supplement in it. So this is just our control. And we'll see how things shake out.